Hello everyone, my name is Reason and I'm coming at you with another episode of Starship Evil. Uh, today we are going to be looking at several um, <clears throat> small crafts, also known as shuttles or personal personal uh, crafts, that a lot of uh, empires or uh, federations or whatever would host and uh, have on hand. Personal crafts can vary in many, many ranges from shuttles up to uh, so, uh, like frigates or something like that. You know, and uh, like they're just basically usually owned by one or two people and maintained for a general set purpose. Most times these personal shuttles or ships are. Um, privately owned and uh, used for a wide range of uh, different uses. Got a Delta Flyer up there. And yeah, so anyway, today we're going to look at several ships or small shuttles that would be classed as small shuttles. Uh, I do apologize for the clusterfuck. I was trying to uh, get these things on the um, pad here organized and looking pretty but fuck it <laughs> they just didn't go very well and of course as you can see everything just went wherever the hell it wants typical you know we've got like some Star Trek uh, got the uh, Space Piercer over there which is a nice vehicle I, I did fly that one it might have made an appearance in a couple of videos nice little ship I put that as a personal shuttle because it's small enough to be classed under shuttles. Um, I'm not looking at fighters, so I'm looking at basically shuttles that would either carry either passenger, cargo, or whatever else. And shuttles or personal crafts are not strong. They're not, you know, very um, powerful either. But they're very versatile and they're very fast and they can be capable of basically pretty much going anywhere that does not require a larger ship or depending on the funding. Now we've got a few Star Trek shuttles in the mix here. We've got the Enterprise D shuttle which is on its roof. Um, I believe this is one from Voyager. I think it's a class 7. Our Type 7, I do believe. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Anyway, we're, we're not going to really fly them. Um, the Enterprise D shuttle is pretty common. I've never really seen this one too much, but apparently it's uh, from Deep Space Nine. I think it's a Vajuran shuttle or something. I don't really know. I uh, I don't know too much about this one. Like I said, I've not have to look it up, but I'm too lazy to do that. And then, of course, over there you have the um, runabout. That's a pretty common one. That's already been displayed in a previous episode. This one down here is a neat little one. Um, found this on the workshop. It's called the snow or the space piercer, I do believe. <laughs> Despite it being underwater and all that shit. Look, let's see if we can get this thing out of the water and actually onto the pad. <laughs> this, is, this is a nice little one. It do, it's not very powerful, but I class this as a personal shuttle because it's... Well, it's about the right size for a private ship and... Oh, it's, it's about... Yeah, it's about what... It's basically at the limit of being a shuttle and a private ship, but uh, I think it's a nice model. Really nicely done. So it's been um, given the classification of shuttle just for now. Although it's probably not. Um, yeah, nice little ship. And of course you see all the clusterfuck over in the distance there. And then you have the Delta Flyer up here, which I've I think I've displayed this one, but Star Trek Voyager, this is a very well-known ship, um, very nice. 
I'm not sure if this is to exact scale. Looks like there's some Borg technology yet. Okay, I think I did look at the Delta Flyer. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Get your bullshit out of there. Okay. Anyway, um, now these other three shuttles, our personal shuttles that I built, are from the Star Alliance. Uh, Star Transit. Star City uh, Transport Alliance, um, which is a corporation that as the name suggests, that deals strictly in um, transportation of cargo and passenger. So these are both, well, this one I do believe, there are three different types of the same shuttle. This, okay, this one's a strictly passenger. Has a little bit of, like, cargo space back here, engine room. These things, though, they don't look like much on the outside. Full interior. That's that one. Um, and just from looking at it, you'd never tell if the where the door was. This one over here is a combination of the two, passenger and um, cargo. This one has, and same as the cargo carrying shuttle, has a unique feature. Of course, this one is for or less. Now, loading cargo. And just like the um, space shuttles that NASA uses, as the uh, roof opens up, which you can load your cargo from a crane. And then it just closes up. This was a pain in the ass to build, in case you're wondering. Huh? <laughs> it was a real pain in the ass. <laughs> so yes, that's the feature of this shuttle. Um, capable of carrying passengers and goods. And these shuttles are called combat shuttles. So they are designed for battle. They do have fairly decent shields. I mean, over 50 uh, K. So they are designed to basically um, go on to hostile planets or planets that basically go into places where they would require more armament. So these things are heavily armed than your classical shuttle. They would probably be three or four times stronger than the Star Trek shuttles in shielding and armor. So they'd be able to get into a lot of places that a typical small fighter or shuttle just can't get into because they have better shielding, better armaments. And these things are designed to fight. Although they are easily destroyed because you know, they do have limited shielding, but even so, they're, they're decent. This one is, I believe, the full cargo. This is a pure cargo carry. Now, the three ships, uh, you notice they're slightly different, each one of them. This is the biggest of the three. It goes tier one, two, and three. The smallest being the passenger cargo. Then the strictly passenger is slightly bigger and this one is a fair bit bigger. It's got an extension basically right here. So this one is bigger than the other two. Same thing, opening up hatch, but this one is primary for all cargo. And of course you've got your opening date bay door, which, yeah. Don't ask me to explain how that was, because this was hard. It's sparking, okay. So yeah. Full interior, like very similar to the other shuttles. The lighting off. Opens and closes. I was thinking about extending it. This is strictly for carrying cargo. Um, it does have two seating for additional crew or passengers. But yeah, it's more for transporting goods. So this could probably you know, take load, so yeah. So, um, <clears throat> you know, those are the small crafts I want to talk about. I know I haven't put out too much in the way of content. It's just been, well, with Starship Evil and all the updates. It's been, I've been lazy. So they're going to have some new fuel update coming up, which is interesting. Um, the fuel system is looking like, looking promising. It's definitely looking forward to that. Now, 
If I have missed any other personal shuttles that you'd like me to display off, just send me a link in the description. Or, I mean, leave a comment with a link to your craft and uh, I will take a look at it. No guarantee it will end up in a video, but there certainly will be... Oh, well, at some point. I have a lot of other crafts I want to display, but... Reason is not exactly on the ball with this stuff. <laughs> and I've got shuttles. It looks like there's a war now. <clears throat> and of course over there, the Lawrence, which looks like it's been just thrown into the bushes. Yeah, whatever. Nobody likes you, fuck off. <laughs> okay. Now Last episode, we uh, looked at those behemoth ships and, of course, the Millennium Falcon, which a lot of videos came out on that, which is nice, nice to see. I do like that ship. I'm not going to do a full walkthrough because um, another YouTuber did that and did a better job than I did because, you know, it's just better at it. I'm not really the greatest YouTuber out there. I don't want to be. I want a chicken. <laughs> uh, there are, I like I said, all these here are like my um, own builds. I've got a whole bunch of shit in here. Um, that's basically the blueprint for those shuttles. If anybody wants a blueprint or a hull design, let me know. This is a top secret one. I'm, this is going to be coming soon, but this one is um, something special. Not really. It's still a piece of shit. A lot of. I have so many in here. Submarine's up on the workshop now. Um, the fuel ship is now up on the workshop. These three are up on. And some racing ships. The racing class ships do go pretty fast. Uh, 450 to 500 meters a second, I think. I don't know. This ugly piece of shit, which... We're just going to pretend that's not there. I hate that thing. I might just delete it and throw it away and pretend it never existed. Oh. Oh, I forgot this one. This is an updated version of the Zorkian shuttle, which I think is run by the same company. I don't know. No. Colo. Colonel Corp or whatever the f Oh, man. Another corporation which does which owns the fuel ship. They also build shuttles. This is an updated version. Similar interior, but more darker, more cooler, and yeah, smaller. Also, it's much weaker. It has, I think, 1,200 shields. Yep. So it is a much weaker shuttle compared to the other three down there, which meaning those this shuttle would definitely be destroyed a lot faster. The strongest of the three would be the cargo shuttle. But of course, you do want to protect your cargo, so better shields on the cargo. And this nacelle is fake. It's just basically a shield pod for protecting the ship. Yeah, I think this is. I don't know. Anyway, folks, um, that's going to be it for this episode. It's going to be short, sweet, furry, and doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense because, meh, why not, right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I am Reason. I'm getting all tongue-tied and confusing myself because, you know, why not? Anyway, folks, uh, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff, and uh, take care of yourselves. I hope you guys are doing well with this uh, COVID shit, and, you know, and, and try to uh, stay safe. Anyway, folks, uh, this is Reason. I'm signing off, and we'll see you in space. Be well.